Hello, ni hao. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to pronounce four new initials or consonants. You can find those four initials at the end of the initials row at the top of the pinyin chart. They're spelled z h c h s h and r. The sound that's spelled z h in pinyin is j, j. It's like the DGE in the word judge or the end of the name George. J. The tip of your tongue should be on the roof of your mouth as you say it. J. J. All right. One word that contains this initial sound is Zhong. Zhong. Zhong as in Zhongguo, which means China. Zhongguo. Now let's pause for a minute to take another quick look at our pinyin chart. Do you see how the first syllable that's listed under the ZH initial is spelled ZHI? Well, that is one of what I call special seven syllables. Each of the four initials that we're going to learn in this lesson, as well as the three we're going to learn later, can be syllables on their own without a final sound. So I like to call those syllables the special seven. All right, I know it sounds like too much jargon, but I'm just going to explain to you in details. In those special seven, the I does not represent the E final, like it does in syllables like ji or xi, all right? Actually, the I in the special seven is silent. It's just a filler or a placeholder. You may as well just put a big dollar sign or some other random symbol there because you don't pronounce that I at all. The only function it serves is to tell you to voice that syllable. So let's practice saying ZH as a syllable on its own without a final sound. Basically, you just make the J sound and then really make sure you voice it. In other words, make sure your vocal cords vibrate as you say it. J, J. If you put your hand on your throat, you should be able to feel the vibrations. J, right? It has a strong R sound at the end. J. You also need to make sure your tongue is pointed up and back to the roof of your mouth. J. Really try to get used to that tongue position because it's the key to pronouncing each of the four initials that we're going to learn in this lesson correctly. Now let's learn how to say I know. It's 我知道. 我知道. 知道 means no. 我知道. Good. Next, we have the CH initial, which is pronounced CH. Ch, ch. It sounds just like the CH in the word peach or church. Ch. Previously, we learned the word for a vehicle, which is ch. Say it with me. Ch. Good. How should we pronounce the syllable spelled CHI? It's a ch. No, T is spelled Q-I. Remember, C-H-I is one of the special seven, which means I here is merely a filler or a placeholder. It's silent. So C-H-I is ch, ch. You just add some voice to the C-H sound, the ch sound, and make sure your vocal cords vibrate. Ch, ch. Almost sounds like C-H-R or like the C-H-U-R in the word church. All right. Ch. Your tongue is curled up and back. Ch. And with first tone, ch means to eat in Chinese. Ch. All right. Next is S-H. It's pronounced sh. Just like the sh in the word bush or sheep. Sh. Do you remember how to say book in Chinese? It's shu. Shu. Now, how should we pronounce the syllable spelled shi? Is it xi? No, no, no. Xi is spelled xi. 
Since SHI is one of the special seven, I here is simply a filler or a placeholder. It's silent. SHI is actually pronounced SH. SH. Add some voice to SH and make sure your vocal cords vibrate. And make sure your tongue is pointed up and back. SH. SH. Good. If you give it a second tone, SH, that's the number 10. SH. And the hand gesture that means 10 in Chinese is this. All right. Last, we have the initial spelled R. It's pronounced zh, zh. This one takes a little bit of practice. You do have this sound in English, but you probably aren't used to saying it at the beginning of a word. This sound is used more in French, but in English, you find it in words like J as in the French name Jacques, S as in Asia, or S as in measure. Okay? Zh. It's a very French sound. Zh. This particular initial gives Chinese learners some confusion because different native Chinese speakers pronounce it differently. So my students hear different ways of saying it and get confused about how they should say it. But just keep in mind that in standard Mandarin pronunciation, the R sound is zh. All right, zh. So how do you say the word hot in Chinese? It's zh. R E fourth tone, zh. And let's go over the special seven syllable spelled R I. It's pronounced zh. zh. Keep that tongue curled up and back and make sure you voice it, okay? Zh, zh, zh. And now give it a fourth tone. Zh, zh. That means sun or day. Zh. Now let's compare these two words. Hot is zh with an uh sound, all right? Zh. And sun is zh. Together, zh, 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 zh. Got it? I hope so. All right, that's all for this lesson. And later, we're going to go over the last three initials. And take care. 再见。